As we continue our week-long spotlight on Georgetown, tonight we get a rare look inside the town's largest employer at one of the world's largest vehicle manufacturing plants. That's right. For so many in central Kentucky, the Toyota plant has not only been a source of income, but pride as well, while offering a feeling that you're part of something special. LEX 18's Michael Burke has our story. It's been a long time since you could say Georgetown without thinking of Toyota. 32 years ago, the first Camry rolled off the assembly line here off Cherry Blossom Way. More than 15 million cars have since followed. Team MK is nothing like I've ever seen before. And she's not exaggerating. Here in little old Georgetown sits Toyota's largest vehicle manufacturing assembly plant. It produces the number one selling car, the sedan, um, the Camry. It produces the number one selling SUV, the RAV4. And it's long been at the forefront of hybrid and electric vehicle technology. 2,000 cars are manufactured here daily. And behind the wheel of every single one of them is Susan Elkington, the plant's first ever female president. There's so many girls that you see out in the community that maybe would have never thought that I could be someday be the president of Toyota. It's a role she's filled since 2018. TMMK employs thousands of Kentuckians with an annual payroll nearing the billion dollar mark. But cars aren't the only thing they manufacture here. They've added horsepower to their goodwill as well. Toyota has invested over $147 million into the state of Kentucky on nonprofits um, to try to continue to have our success be the state success. And oftentimes, success here has proven to be generational. Naturally, Toyota has had a massive economic impact on central Kentucky since landing here in the mid-1980s, but the impact is really much more profound than that for so many here. Susan's daughter works at a Toyota plant in Indiana and say hello to Tammy and Chad Ryan. When Tammy started working here more than 20 years ago, she would drop Ryan at the on-site daycare center. Ryan is now an employee. He's come a long way since daycare, huh? He has, yeah. It's, it's neat to see him walk through these same doors that I have. The Scott County High School grad is now a group production leader in the paint shop. Many of his daycare providers are still here. My son will be going over there and we went and took a tour and seen the, uh, the, the workers that was helping me and it was just kind of like a, a good memory to have. Chad and Tammy are literal family members working here. For most everyone else, it's in the figurative sense, but no less meaningful. All the people that I started here with, we do consider ourselves a family. And as actually when we come in in the mornings, we greet each other that way. We say, good morning work family. You will have opportunities to know people and, and, and a camaraderie between everyone. Greg Newby has been a family member since day one. When I first got here, we wasn't even inside the building itself. Uh, over there to the right, there was what we call Trailer City. In the 34 years since, he's watched this place become practically its own city. Can you believe that that's the campus now? I cannot believe it. That is incredible. And honestly, what I'm thinking about now is where, where are we going to put the battery plant? Referring to the recently unveiled plan to build a manufacturing plant where batteries for the electric vehicles will be made exclusively. No word yet on location, but no matter where it goes, Toyota will have its foot on the accelerator. We've been the leader for over 21 years in electrification. And a pillar in the Georgetown community for generations. I think the biggest pride that I have working here is seeing people achieve levels that they never imagined. And that's no used car sales pitch when it comes from the first female president they've ever had here. For the Spotlight on Georgetown, I'm Michael Burke.